The world's population has just hit 7 billion people, adding another 100 million of aspirational consumers to the marketplace. This growing middle class in emerging countries want access to Western goods. They're going to shape the economic trade zones of the future. And equally in the West, we have an aging population which are going to put increasing pressure on the healthcare systems, on the social security systems going forward. It means that those Western governments have to respond and react in very different ways. Equally, the issues around food security and water security will become increasingly prevalent in the same way we've had to address energy in recent years. These are new challenges for global governance. I think in our profession there are going to be some profound changes. First is the emergence of new trade zones. So increasingly business will be done not on a per country basis but by region or sub-region. That will mean also looking at smart business models in the back office. Where do you actually deploy your resources and how can you make them much more mobile around the world? Secondly, with the focus on reforming capital markets, greater reliance will be placed upon providing assurance on different sort of key measures and decisions that the market wants information on. This will expand the scope of audit, for example. Third, with these new and emerging markets, governance frameworks are to become more important. If international investors are going to compete in these marketplaces, they need to be comfortable that modern processes are in place that align with their business philosophies and strategies around the globe. This means educating a lot of these markets about the importance of having strong frameworks of corporate governance, risk management and market entry strategies. Organisations have to be very adaptable and innovative in the next decade. The important thing is instilling a culture of thinking continuously about how I'll improve my organisation. Look at new products, new ideas, new ways of doing business. The second aspect is to actually recognise that we're becoming a much more interconnected global organisation. So fully understanding the models that apply in the East, how to do business in South America, what are the key priorities in the Middle East, for example. The days of having a simple domestic mindset in your country are well and truly over. KPMG has a critical role to play in working with NGOs, businesses and governments to lift the living standards of many of developing economies. This means not only providing funds and aid but bringing our intellectual and strategic capability to reforming these markets, whether it be in education, in resource availability, in housing, in addressing some of their key social problems that will actually allow them to attract further investment, open up their markets and lift the average income of these populations. Partnerships are the clear way to get this done. KPNG is very much committed to working with global organisations of a like mind to achieve this important social object.